Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Camaro Rebuild. Today, we're gonna be honing the cylinders at home in our garage using this quick and easy ball hone. So here's the problem. In our cylinders here, they're a little bit crusty. And if you're working on an engine, they may look a lot worse than this. This is actually not too bad as far as cylinders go. Now these are mostly just some uh, dirt and dust. Uh, there's not really too much rust. If you can see back in there, there is a little bit of carbon buildup at the very back of the cylinder. So we're gonna be doing our best to clean those up, get a nice cross hatch on them, to make sure that all of the oil when this engine is running fully is moving the way that it should be and this engine is performing properly. So the basic steps of honing out a cylinder is to use a ball hone like this. You're gonna jam it down inside of the cylinder after it's all lubed up with WD-40 and then you spin it with a drill at a constant pace and you move it in and out as you go. And that ideally creates a 45 degree cross hatching pattern through the entire thing. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be perfect, but you go for as close to perfect as possible. 45 degrees is a very specific measurement. So you get it as close as you can visually. That's about all you can ask for without a machine shop involved. So for this process, you wanna make sure your cylinder walls and the ball hone are completely covered in oil. You can use motor oil, but WD-40 works fine for this engine since there's not too much to hone off the walls. Keep in mind oil is going to be dripping down all over anything you have underneath the engine, so make sure you keep this in an open space or with a bin underneath to catch it. Also, make sure to keep some shop towels near you for this. I'm just using a few washable microfiber towels to help clean as I go. Make sure to wear clothes that you don't mind getting oil all over either, because uh, this is going to fling it everywhere while you're doing it. You want to make sure the hone is rotating before you plunge it into the engine for the first time, otherwise you can cause vertical scratches that are really, really bad for oil distribution, so just make sure you get it going before you push it in. When you're honing, you're going to move the hone in and out at a rapid pace along with trying to keep the drill at a constant speed. Again, the goal here is a 45 degree crosshatch, but obviously that's a little bit difficult to do precisely without a machine shop. So just try and match the speed to the drill speed and you should get something fairly close. As you pull the hone out, make sure to keep it spinning again to ensure that there's no vertical scratches and then wipe off the material left inside with a shop towel to see how it looks. You can already see how much nicer that cylinder looks after only about 15 seconds of honing. Uh, yours might take a little bit more than this, but the engine is in great condition for being 50 years old, so it didn't need too much love. Now we're just gonna repeat this process on the other seven cylinders, so enjoy the show. all eight of the cylinders are properly cross-hatched which means we can start 
assembling the pistons and the rings, putting all that good stuff back in the engine. They're already oiled up, so they're gonna be protected for a couple days while I work on some other things here. But that's gonna do it for this video. That's how easy it is to hone your cylinders at home. Uh, if yours are worse than this, obviously these are in really, really good condition. But if yours are worse than this, you might just need to run the hone a little bit longer. Maybe start with a lower grit and then move up to make sure that you are getting all of the gunk and stuff off. And keep in mind, if you do it for too long, you could actually end up wearing enough metal away that you are over boring the cylinders, which means stock piston heads, stock rings, all of that are not gonna fit. So just be very careful, but it's obviously a very quick and easy process. So not too much risk, definitely worth picking up the tool to do it at home, highly recommend it. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna see the next process of what it's gonna take to put this engine back together, make sure and click that subscribe button, give me a follow, and I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna be putting the crankshaft back in. See ya!